You know, I feel kind of proud of Sadie fans. Out of the two characters with the same personalities, you chose the one that was conventionally less attractive. You really don't let appearances sway your decisions, and you try to find a winner in everyone. Or, Sadie just had more time than Katie, and you picked her as it's basically choosing which side of the white bread you want, because at the end of the day, they're the same side, and they offer the same amount to you as they did to Total Drama. Which is to say, very little. But I think Sadie's survival is simpler than others. I have the option of changing a major event or adding a different version of them, and like, what version do you want me to add here? They were written out of all potential development by episode 11. And it would be me grasping at straws hoping that Sadie reached a heather level of strategy by world tour but she never got to compete. So episode 11 and all Sadie will have to do here is not shoot Courtney when the challenge is over. Yes, that is it. Maybe shoot one less to make sure Courtney gets the point this time? Now it's heavily implied that if Courtney didn't get the vote change, DJ would have been going home. So with that, DJ would go home here as Courtney wouldn't have the same drive she did as in canon to dispose of Sadie. Episode 12 and Sadie and Harold get into a small mini alliance since they realize they're the odd ones out. And Harold says that he doesn't know how much they can do with the numbers being the way they are. But that's when Harold then gets the idea to vote out Courtney his own special way. Sadie, I cannot see doing well in this challenge, and Screaming Gophers still win, and Harold rigs the vote against Courtney. Episode 13, and Harold still wipes out at the end, but Sadie is able to convince Bridget to vote for Duncan, says as in a future episode, despite being in Duncan's major group, she is willing to vote out Duncan for how rude he is, so Duncan would be voted out 3-2, to two, with Duncan saying how this is messed up because Harold rigged the votes. Jeff would become a bit nervous about the fact that he is the last remaining male from Duncan's team, and asks Bridget if he will be eliminated next, and Bridget says that she would never vote for him. Four talk about merge and talk about being in a killer bass alliance, and they agree, though the next episode really tests that belief with Eva coming back. Sadie gets scared of people easily like Eva, but she's also an idiot like Lindsay, so I feel like she'd offer to be in their alliance, and though Bridget wants to tell sh Sadie not to offer that to Eva. Eva would agree, but asks Bridget if she has a problem with that, to which Bridget shakes her head. Now, Bridget would really want Eva gone, but that strength doesn't just walk in every day, so she thinks about how her t how her five-man team can be pretty good in the future, and I think though- and I think though- Eva is very polarizing, Heather is a much bigger threat, and Lashana, Gwen, and Trent vote Heather along with the Killer Bass Alliance. Though Harold and Jeff try to say how insane it is to team up with Eva, but Bridget stands up for her and says that Eva has been going to anger management, so she's trying to be better, though even Bridget doesn't really believe it herself, though it does shut them up. Episode 16, and like the other episodes, each new contestant will be placed on a wheel, and the name chosen gets Heather's key, which gives immunity. And Eva is chosen, meaning she gets the immunity here. I think Izzy and Eva would have an unlikely friendship, with Sadie and Lindsay becoming friends as well. Sadie would get Trent in her alliance with Lindsay, and so Gwen is also in the alliance as a result. And Eva, Izzy, and Owen are in another alliance as a result. Jeff, Bridget, and Harold feel scared that Sadie is teaming up with other people and decides to get LaShawn on the group as well, but it's a secret to both Eva and Sadie. Sadie is jealous of Gwen since Trent pays more attention to her, so she would vote for Gwen with Lindsay after some ma minor convincing, and Eva, Izzy, and Owen vote Trent, Trent and Gwen vote Harold, and finally Lashana, Harold, Bridget, and Jeff vote for Gwen, and Lashana would inevitably do it over Izzy to get into this group. Trent is shocked but assumes that he was just outnumbered. Episode 17 is the hide and seek challenge. Lashana gets immunity and so does Eva because Eva is definitely catching someone here. The girls talk about joining in an alliance to which Sadie says that's fine as long as they don't vote off Trent. Izzy says it's fine as long as they don't vote off Owen. Bridget says it's fine as long as they don't vote off Jeff. And Lashana just joins in saying she doesn't want Harold gone. And Eva says one of them has to go and eventually they all just say they'll vote for who they end up voting for and since Bridget is still covered by skunk smell she would be voted off. Episode 18, and Eva makes it first, with Lindsay making it second, meaning she gets voted off. Nothing more to say for my own sanity. 
Episode 19, Sadie tries to go to Trent, but Eva intercepts Sadie and tells her she needs to take this challenge more seriously and that she will do this for her since she saved her from being eliminated. As a result, Eva trains Sadie while everyone else is watching horror movies and Sadie asks why she can't hang out with the others and Eva says that she needs to get stronger before she can earn that right. And after a few more laps around the island, they can go hang out with them. I think Trent and Jeff team up with Owen and Izzy and Lashana and Harold doing the same. Eventually, Sadie loses Eve on the woods while training and hears screaming which terrifies her and Chef appears to her. But after a minute, Sadie becomes fired up to prove herself and says this must be another test from Eva and she somehow is able to beat him by charging at him, surprising Jeff who gets tackled and she rips the mask off of him before stopping her onslaught after she realizes it's just Chef. Meanwhile, Eva's in the cafeteria when she sees the real escape psycho killer with a chainsaw and a hook to which Eva beats him up in self-defense, to which everyone watches in more fear for the killer than Eva. Eva gets immunity as well as Sadie, and Eva actually says that she isn't proud of her or anything, but says she may actually have the qualities of a winner somewhere in her. I think Owen would be eliminated by Chris because his elimination was the most pathetic. I mean, he gave up his girlfriend to the killer for survival. Episode 20, and there's no reason to believe Izzy wouldn't do the same thing as she does in canon, rubbing people the wrong way, but Eva gets Sadie and Jeff to vote Harold instead, which they do, and Harold is gone. Episode 21, and the teams are Eva and Izzy, Jeff and Lashana, and finally Trent and Sadie. Now, Sadie is going to be trying to prove herself, kind of like how Lindsay did in action, so she would take charge, to which Trent would say he likes this new Sadie, which flusters Sadie. Now, Jeff and Lashana is such a solid team. Jeff's carefree attitude and Lashana's ability to lead is an immense challenge for every other team, and I think they would win as a result. Sadie apologizes to Trent for failing him, and Trent tells her not to worry about it since this was the most she's been in the game this whole competition, and he tells her to keep going and she will win a challenge eventually. Sadie is happy to hear that, and Lashana offers to vote Eva off with Sadie and Trent. Eva goes to Sadie to tell her that they're voting Trent, but Sadie says it's time to lead herself, and Eva respects it but says that the best player will win. Sadie, Lashana, and Trent vote Eva, but Eva is able to somehow convince Jeff to vote for Trent and it's a tie between the two and in the tiebreaker challenge, which will be a contest where both people need to fight to stay on a platform, Eva is able to defeat Trent to Sadie's detriment, but Trent before leaving tells Sadie to not let this all go to waste and to keep going to the end. Sadie is more fired up than ever, but sadly it's episode 22 and there is a case to be made that Jeff gets his name called here as he is more popular than Lashana, so Jeff Jeff actually gets eliminated here, and I will definitely contradict this in Jeff's episode. Episode 24 and the teams would be Eva and Izzy and Lashana and Sadie. Lashana and Sadie would win after Izzy does something similar to Owen and ruins the challenge for Eva. Eva says to Sadie that she lucked out, but Chef actually decides to eliminate Izzy here, and Eva gives a sly smile and says that Lady Luck is on her side. Episode 25 and Lashana and Sadie team team up against Eva, but it's more like Lashana and Eva are facing off as Eva underestimates Sadie immensely, until the hair salon challenge comes up and Sadie offers to do it, and Eva is shocked that she would do that since she's so materialistic. Sadie gets her head shaved, and even Lashana is shocked she was able to go through with it. The tiebreaker would begin between Eva and Lashana, and like in episode 15, Lashana would be able to beat Eva, and before leaving, Eva would say that the two made a good team and tell Sadie she better beat Lashana. The finale, and I honestly can say that Sadie might have a chance here if the people help Sadie the way they did with Owen. I know Katie would, and they both have shown to be pretty fearless with each other's companionship, so I think Sadie can get past the second challenge before Lashana, to which it would just be a foot race, and that would determine the winner with both having alternate win conditions. In the end, I'm putting Sadie as the main winner because it's her video, but you can easily convince me she's an alternate winner. If you think this is contrived, leave those thoughts in the comments, make the day yours, and I'll see you next time with the contestant I dread the most, Courtney.